I think that he is the best defensive prospect in this draft. Everything that Kyle Hamilton has shown on the field from his measurables to his style of play to his versatility really lends itself to this guy being the, the class of this draft class defensively. Now, I want to get into some of his strengths, and he's got a lot of them, so it's really hard for me to keep it to just three for him. But the first one is he has an exceptional frame. When you look at this kid, he's tall, he's got long arms. He's not overly muscular, so an NFL team will look at that and they say, man, we can still develop this guy. We can put a little bit of meat on his bones. But as he stands right now, he can still step in right away in the NFL game and have some success. As you look at this section, the second one, his range and coverage is phenomenal. And there is a play that stands out to just about everyone. It's against Florida State. You just look at this guy running sideline to sideline, able to undercut an outbreaking route playing from inside leverage, gets the interception. Those are the type of plays that make a difference in the NFL. And you see him drop into zones. You see him get on man-to-man -man coverage when it comes to tight ends. He can cover running backs. It's everything that this man can do. There's another one right there. His range is absolutely ridiculous when it comes to coverage ability, especially for his size. And then the third one is he can can play at all three levels. This speaks to the versatility of Kyle Hamilton. He is a safety. That's where he works out. That's where he typically lines up. So you see him patrolling the back end of the defense. He can come down to linebacker level. He can play in the zone concepts. He can play in the run game and doesn't look like a little man when he's out there. You can even put him up on the line of scrimmage. He can hold, be patient there, slow play some of the run plays until they declare or even back off the line of scrimmage and get into coverage pretty easily. Now, every prospect has their weaknesses. This was difficult for me because he doesn't have a ton of them. But the first one is his change of direction. He is a longer, high-cut athlete. So just from a physics standpoint, it's hard for him to change directions, something I know very well. I struggled with it in my career. So he's going to have to find those things. Maybe it's studying the game a little bit more so he can be more instinctive. He can have a beat on where plays are going so he can understand how to change directions better. Muscle mass, something I talked about earlier. This dude is going to have to find his way into the weight room. He's going to have to really love it. In the offseason, workouts are going to be imperative. He's going to have to eat. He's going to have to lift. Become an old school football guy. And then man to man versus slot wide receivers. I talked about his coverage skills against tight ends. I talked about his coverage skills against running backs. I talked about his coverage skills in zone concepts, when it comes to playing man-to-man -man on slot wide receivers, which are typically your smaller guys, extremely shifty. I mentioned the struggle with change of direction. That's something he's going to struggle with. But overall, this is a complete prospect. I'm not a guy who typically likes to do uh, comps. I don't like to say he plays like this guy. But I watched Isaiah Simmons in the semifinal game in 2019, Ohio State versus Clemson. He's on Clemson's defense. And I watched him vacate the middle of the field on an outbreaking route and get an interception or might have been a near interception, whatever the case was. And I'm like, that is a remarkable play because guys can't do that. Then I watched Kyle Hamilton go out and do that multiple times. It is remarkable. So he is Isaiah Simmons, but better. And I think that he is the best defensive prospect in this draft. That's wow. that's high praise from Joshua Perry. Now, JP, this is my thing. I, this is a big guy. This is not a small human being. I know you talked about the ability to make plays on the ball, but he's 6'4", 220, mm -hmm. right? There's not a lot of guys playing safety in the NFL that have that size. The only the guy that I think of is a Cam Chancellor, yes. right? But yep. that was a different type of safety. That's a strong safety, almost yep. like a linebacker. This yep. is a guy who's going to play a lot of single safety high cover one. And so. This is a guy who's going to give you the things that Cam can do. He's, he's probably not going to be as aggressive in the run game. And that goes back to his muscle mass. But he's going to be solid in the run game. The teams have no problem saying if we're going to roll our safeties down, we're going to have one play in the box that he can be a box safety. He's going to give you better in the back end than Cam could have because of the range that he has and because of the athletic abilities. This dude can flat out run. He's a long strider, and some people don't like that. He covers ground, yeah. and he'll be able to make all those plays. Things that defensive coordinators want when you're playing that single high safety, and I'll leave it on this, is an eraser in the middle of the field. A guy who can get sideline to sideline or at least from the middle of the field to the numbers, and he can do better than that.